Hey guys, it's David here again from One Step at a Time and today we're going to be talking about FileZilla. FileZilla is an FTP which stands for File Transfer Protocol and basically what it does is it allows you to move files or folders from your local computer, the one in front of you at home, to a server um, like a website or whatever. So I'm going to quickly show you how to do that. Now I always use FileZilla, it's just my preferred one. There's lots of them out there, I'm not going to go through them all but you can use whichever one suits yourself. Um, as I said, I use FileZilla. This is FileZilla. All you have to do is go to FileZillaProjects.org and just click on the down for Windows. Um, click on this one. This is only if you're allowing files for other people. Um, this is for just uploading, transferring. So. It says pick the client if you want to transfer files, click the server if you want to make files available for others. So we download. I have it downloaded. Just to download it, follow the screen prompts. And once you're finished, um, I'm just going to close this down. Once you're finished, you just want to double click on FileZilla until it opens up and you'll have a screen like this here. Now on the top here this is just where it'll tell you whether it's successfully connected and all that kind of crack this local site here this is all of the folders it's basically everything on your computer is in this section here and if you click on we'll say documents all of whatever's in your documents be in that and you can expand that and you can go into all of the files so all of the folders here when you click on that it'll show you all the folders and files in here and then if you click on another folder, it'll show you the files within that folder. So that's what this is about here. And this is your remote site, this section. So when you log in and you put in all your details here, it'll come up here on the remote site and it'll be, uh, it'll show you everything within your root directory. So everything will pop up here and then same applies as this site. Every time you press on public underscore HTML it'll show you everything that's under that if you click on a site directory it'll show you all of the files and folders within that directory so it's basically the same down here is your queued files so as you're transferring them it'll tell you if you failed to transfer any of them and successful transfers and that's a basic layout of this section of it now there's a couple of different ways if you want to connect your website um, the first is you can just do it here so you can enter your domain so you can say ftp dot whatever your name is then your username and your password now in the username and password if you only have one website that you've created you can actually use the username and password that you log in to your hosting account with so whatever your username is you put that in there and whatever your password is don't worry about the port and then hit quick connect that's one option. The thing about that is you kind of have to do it all the time. Um, so what I do is I like to put it into File Manager. And to access File Manager, you have to... There's a little arrow beside it. If you have any sites available that you transfer from, they'll come up here already. But because this is your first time, we'll go into File Manager. Click on File Manager, and in here, you'll see this little tab. And What you want to do is you want to click New Site. Up new site, give it a name. So I'm just gonna say do it, Dave. Now in here in your host, just put in your web address. So um, I'm using Bluehost, so I, I just put in my URL, my website URL, and I don't worry about the port. Uh, I use Plain FTP, although it's recommended you do you use a secure FTP. But um, I wouldn't worry about that just for a second, just so until you get used to it. And after that, then you can go and you can cre create um, special files, secure files, um, using shell access. But that's kind of getting off topic a little bit. So what I'll do is just go back to this. Anyway, if you go in here, use file, use plain FTP and login type. Is just click normal. And then go user, type in your user, so whatever your user is, so I'm going to go. And then my password. 
So I'm just going to get the password, I'll paste that in there. Once you've pasted in there, um, should hit quick connect and it should connect up. So there we go, it's after accessing our remote site and everything within our remote site is in here and all of the files and folders. The problem is there's lots of stuff here and you don't want to be getting into that in case you make a mistake or um, do something that you're not sure of or you no way of fixing it. So what I like to do is when I'm in the file manager, I like to go to advanced and I like to set a default remote directory. So um, to set a default, I want to make sure that I just only go to my public underscore HTML DIY Dave folder. Um, when I log in. So the best way for that, you can always take that off later if you want once you get used to using it, but for the moment that's the way I like to do it. So if you just go public underscore html forward slash DIY div and then just say quick connect and it's just asking me to a bar previous connection. I just say yeah. Now, as you can see here, my remote site, the, the default directory that it goes to is public underscore HTML DIY Dave, because that's what I stated. So everything, as you can see, it's highlighted. This is basically my site, and I have uploaded WordPress to it, but none of these three folders would be in it if you were doing it from the first time and you had no site up there. It would literally just be this. Okay, you would get these as well. And a favicon image and a few other bits and pieces. So that's how to do it that way. That's one of the ways to do it. That's the that's the quickest way. If you want to set up a dedicated user and password for your FTP so it keeps everything else safe, like your hosting details and that, you can just go into your hosting account. So when you log into your hosting account, like I said, I'm using Bluehost, so, um, and I've moved these around a few, so if you're using Bluehost, yours might be down a bit when you scroll down the page, so I kind of put these up here because I use them more often than in anything else. And um, just up here where it says FTP, just click on FTP. And you scroll down here to your FTP. And then it asks you in here to log in, uh, whatever your name you want to use. So you can use your name or you can use initials or you can. So I'm just going to write in to why dev as my login password. And yeah, there's my directory. You can set the quota for uh, if you were allowing access just to one person and you wanted them to access you could set where you wanted them to go in your directory here. And you could set a limit to the amount of um, data they could upload. But for the purpose of this, you're just doing it for yourself, so I wouldn't worry about that. And then you just cre um, click Create FTP Account, tongue tied. And that's it, your account is, is set up. So all you have to do is, in, is go back to FileZilla. I'm just going to disconnect. There's a disconnect button. And I'm going to go into... And it's the same thing again. It's just in here, I'm going to change my user. So the user is whatever you've created. And it's at and... Um, I'm going to be blocking this section out because it's my main site and I do this on um, add-on domains and subdomains so I'm just going to but it'll be DIY or whatever your user was at your site name so sorry I don't talk when I'm typing in case I make a mistake, so I've logged in my user and then whatever your password was, so and 
and then just say and if I take this off just show you something here and then I go back here just click connect automatically go to your directory even though it doesn't state it up here it has here as you can see it's the same as I showed you earlier so this is all of the files folders everything that's um, under the under the or whatever your site is so this will be everything that's it guys for the setup side of it anyway so you can access your server uh, what I'm going to do is I'll quickly show you how easy it is to upload um, so I'm just going to get a picture I have one on my desktop it's a, it's a favicon icon I know I won't be using it I'm just going to show you how to but if you're putting up uh, a favicon I'll be doing a video on that shortly there's a particular way you can do it just to make sure that it looks good on any and all devices like laptops and iPhones and tablets so it's not as simple as it used to be where you just put up a 16 by 16 or 32 by 32 so but anyway that's another video for the moment I'm just going to quickly show you how to so here's my image and let's see because it's going to go into the root so it'll be going in here someplace anyway so you just can either just drag it across so you see the plus mark and you can drop it in there just don't drop it into a folder drop it in here or the easiest way to do it is just right click on whatever you want to upload click upload and it'll tell you directory listing successful up here that's it when you scroll down here there it is you can see it so I'm just going to click on that and simple as it went in I'm going to delete it and the connection was aborted so just gonna have to click no, that's not gonna let me go in that way so I'm gonna have to go to connect again there we go connect it up again uh, just right click on this and say delete that's it guys it's as fast as that um, it's fantastic it's a fantastic piece of kit um, when I'm using this um, client it's usually only for small bits and pieces I find when you're uploading WordPress or that if your broadband's a little bit slow which is mine tends to be uh, it can take a long time to upload and install of WordPress because there's like 1200 files so uh, I go through that in one of my other videos if you want to see it I can leave a link in the description and that's it guys I hope this video helps you out and you have a, an idea how to use it and if you have any questions you can leave them in the comments uh, hit the like button or subscribe and I'll see you in the next video cheers good luck